Welcome to our lesson about view manipulation tools in SOLIDWORKS 2011. Let's begin by creating a part document. We learned how to do this previously. Select part and click OK. Now let's create a solid. We'll begin with a sketch on the top plane. And I'll drop a rectangle about here. Something like this. Exit the sketch. Now let's take an isometric view. And let's activate the extruded boss command. For the depth, let's make it 50 millimeters. Press the tab key to register and OK to process. On the top of the graphic area, we've got here what's called a hanging toolbar. These are the view manipulation tools that we'll be talking about in this lesson. The first tool here is zoom to fit. Let's click on it. Our view is sized so that the solid fits in the graphic area at its maximum possible size. Now let's take a look at zoom to area. What we do first is select a zoom window. We hold down the left mouse button and drag. When you release the left mouse button, that processes the command. SolidWorks will zoom into your selection. Right click and select to exit that tool and that'll deactivate it. Another way to zoom in and out is to use the middle mouse button or the wheel. If you scroll the wheel away from you, you zoom the model out. If you scroll the wheel toward you, you zoom in or you move it closer to you. The model centers on the area where your cursor is located. So to make sure you don't lose your model, you'll need to constantly adjust the position of your cursor while you're moving the wheel. If you're new to this, it's going to take a little time to get used to, but uh, don't worry, you'll be a pro in no time. Next is the Previous View button. This button takes me to my last zoom and view position. For example, if I hold down the middle button and rotate the model. And now let's click Previous View to return to my previous view. If I hold down the control key and the middle mouse button or wheel, I can pan the model on the screen, by the way. We've got a number of preset views to choose from from this menu flyout. Top view, isometric view, trimetric view, diametric view, and so on. Let's take an isometric view. This is probably the view that you'll be using the most often. We can also change the display style. Here we've got shaded with edges. Shaded. Hidden lines removed. Hidden lines visible. The last option here is wireframe. Let's return to shaded with edges. Next, we've got the option to hide or show items. From this drop down menu, I choose the items I'd like to show or hide. Let's make the top plane visible. Right click and show. Let's make the front plane visible as well. Now let me select planes from this drop down menu. This quickly hides all planes without us having to manipulate each one at a time. Select it again to show the planes. And let's go back to the Feature Manager design tree and hide each of those planes. Right click and hide. The next command on the hanging toolbar is where we adjust appearance. Here I can adjust the color, for example, to light red or to blue. Let's cancel out. Next, we've got the option to apply a scene. When I click on this icon, I'm prompted to select the Use Document Scene Background Appearance. Let's click Yes. Now we're able to select a scene. As you see, the background has changed. To reset the background, we can go to Options, Color. Let's select Plane. Currently white is selected. We can click Edit to select a different color. Let's cancel out of the color palette and click OK to exit the Options window. The last option lets us adjust the view mode. We can select real view graphics and notice now we've got a reflection. Next, we can use shadows in shaded mode. And here you see the shadows. I can also select perspective view. Depending upon your settings, you may or may not have the real view graphics option available to you. To learn which graphics hardware, i.e. your video card, supports the RealView Graphics option, you're going to need to check at the SolidWorks.com website. They list their compatible hardware. The last option I want to show here. Now if I mouse over this edge, and then I press the middle mouse button or wheel while I'm mousing over the edge, this lets me rotate the model along the edge that I've selected. 
I make that selection with the middle mouse button. Let's try it again here. And when I release the button, the edge becomes unselected. And this concludes our lesson about view manipulation tools in SOLIDWORKS 2011.